Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Shearwater Peregrine Dive Computer. So this is their new sort of Perdix Lite dive computer. It's made for recreational divers, so it's had all of that technical stuff just stripped out of it because a good 90-95% of divers don't use all of that technical stuff. They just want a large screen color screen dive computer uh, that's got a rechargeable battery and that's what Shearwater have made. A decent sized compact little dive computer with a large screen, a color screen dive computer with a rechargeable battery with nitrox and air built into it. Everything that most recreational divers need in a really neat little package. Let's take a closer look. Uh, okay, so let's take a look and see what you actually get inside of the box. Um, so pretty standard size sheer water box uh, that you get with a lot of their dive computers. Comes with this uh, little cardboard sleeve, which actually has some information inside, uh, which is worth uh, sort of checking out. Just information on how to install the uh, the app and um, yeah, how to use and like initially start on. So uh, definitely read what's on the inside of the sleeve. Um, um, then we get the box itself. So this is one of those uh, sort of EVA cases. You can reuse this for the dive computer or whatever you like. It's that kind of semi-rigid uh, protective case. Double zipper on it. So you get a little D-ring as well so you can clip things um, onto it just to uh, stop it from moving around inside of the uh, your kit bag or something. Now you've got your dive computer. Uh, you also have this separate zippered section, which is quite handy. Uh, I'm just gonna delve in there quite quickly because the first thing that you have is a USB cable. Um, so that'll be useful for, uh, for recharging your computer. Uh, product information, small book of words, download the manual. A quality checklist um, by one of the, uh, the Shearwater team, making sure that everything is all right. Uh, and that's all that's in that top section. Uh, if I just take this out, because there's a lot crammed into this small space. Uh, so this is one of your straps. Uh, so a silicone strap, nice and smooth texture to that. Um, feels quite strong and chunky as well. So, uh, so that's quite a reliable way. You've got metal buckle on that. So, uh, so strong and secure and a couple of retainers just to keep that strap nicely organized. Inside of here, uh, I'm gonna take a closer look at that later because there's a lot going on in that little foam section. Uh, underneath here, you have a screen protector. Uh, so that's handy for protecting the screen from scratches because um, just, yeah, a, a small scratch is going to um, just ruin your dive computer. Uh, sticker, Shearwater logo sticker, and another Shearwater sticker that you can stick wherever you like. Um, so that's the box, decent sized box. And then, okay, in this section here, so you can clearly see the, uh, the dive computer, but there's a lot going on. So there's the computer. We'll take a closer look at that a little bit later um, because further on, so around here you have some bungee. This is like three mil bungee. And that is so that you can turn it into a bungee mounted dive computer. Uh, instead of the standard like watch style strap, use the bungee and, uh, and that just means it's gonna allow for compression of your wetsuit or your dry suit. You've got some tools and some pin bars. So these are gonna be for your, uh, your watch strap. Uh, Phillips on both of those, and these little screwdrivers are Phillips, but you can use that standard sort of cross um, section. And you might be able to see that tiny little dab of blue that just helps uh, sort of grip that screw so it doesn't undo by itself. You got two of those and then uh, two of those screwdrivers. And then on the inside, if I can get that out, so that is your charging pad. So you plug that with the uh, the USB cable and then you rest the dive computer on top of that and that's how you're gonna recharge it. Um, so yeah, lots of goodies. Um, this is very much like Shearwater. They're very good at giving you a lot of extras and everything that you need. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look at the dive computer itself. Okay, so the Peregrine itself is a very neat sized large screen dive computer. As far as the, uh, 
where the actual screen size goes. Uh, it's it's large compared to the watch size dive computers, but it's fairly small compared to the large screen dive computers, if that makes sense. Uh, it's got a decent size screen on it. Uh, if I just turn it on quickly, uh, just so that you can see what actually uh, illuminates. So decent size screen, nice and clear and clean information on there. When you first set it up, it's set to Imperial, um, but it's very quick and easy to, uh, to swap it over to metric measurements, but you can clearly see everything that you need to. So you have your current depth. Um, at the moment, it says surface 164 days. That's how long it's been uh, since this dive computer has been on its, uh, its test dive. Uh, safety stop and no decompression information on the right hand side, and then just auxiliary information down at the bottom. Uh, now, if I just sort of show you, so two buttons on the side, um, and then you have your menu and your function. As you go through into certain areas of the menu, it'll actually tell you exactly what these buttons do. But if I just press the function button, it's gonna cycle through the auxiliary information. So the last dive, they've actually called it factory. Um, so it's gone through that initial check dive at the factory just to make sure it's all fit and healthy. Shows you uh, the maximum depth of your previous dive. So that's quite handy just to really quickly log your dive. Um, and how long the dive was for. Keep going through, it goes into your, your MOD, your maximum depths and uh, PPO2s, what they're all set to. What the current temperature is, the uh, the conservancy, so right now uh, it's set to a sort of a medium 4085 gradient factor, uh, CNS as well and just more information and these will start to change as you're actually on the dive. The tissue saturations, so this is just gonna be a, uh, a bar chart basically telling you sort of all your different um, tissues, how saturated each of them are, and it's a, that sort of visual representation so that if you're planning another dive, you go, oh, actually, it might be worth having a longer surface interval. Uh, the battery, how well the battery is doing, rechargeable battery on the inside, lithium ion, um, uh, the current atmospheric pressure and the date and time, serial number, and then back. So actually talking about the battery, so this is the uh, the charging pad itself. I plug this into a USB plug. And if you just place it on top of that, hopefully it will start to charge. So very quick and easy, it's a full battery. So charge complete, uh, confirm. So yeah, if you're doing multiple dives and you just wanna to top the battery up, yeah, it's very quick and easy just to put it on top of there. It's going to uh, buzz a couple of times. It's got that vibration, hepatic feedback. Uh, it's gonna buzz a couple of times and then uh, just show that it's recharging. Uh, very quick and easy. And then when you want to go for your dive, you just take it off of there and you're ready to go. So very quick and easy to, uh, to top it up. You don't have to open up the uh, the computer or anything to change batteries or do anything. You just put it down on top of that and it starts to charge. Very, very clever. A lot of dive computers are going down this route now because it makes them uh, sort of almost flood resistant. <clears throat> Okay, pressing the other button, the menu button. So this, uh, the first time you press it, it goes to turn off. So you can turn it off very quick and easy just to save battery power. Press it again, you can go into dive setup. And then you see you have these uh, next and then plan. So this is telling you what these buttons now do. So your no decompression planner, brightness, vibration, test vibration, you might be able to hear it. If you heard that, great. Uh, if you didn't, I felt it. It's um, it's a decent vibration. Uh, you'll be able to feel that through a uh, five mil wetsuit. Dive setup, I'm just gonna delve into the, oh, that's where I was, sorry. So keep going through. It takes you back to the original menu. Dive log, if I just show you the log, but really quickly, because it does have that test dive on it. So this is gonna list all of your previous dives so that if you're logging multiple dives, it's quick and easy. It tells you the, uh, the basic information, the maximum depth and the dive time. But if you click on view, it shows you a little graph of, uh, of your actual dive and uh, just some auxiliary information. And you can keep sort of checking like the water temperature, how that changed throughout the dive. And then just even more information on that specific dive. Uh, so back, back, back. Next, exit. 
Bluetooth built in so you can download your dives onto your phone, your smartphone or your smart tablet using the, uh, the Shearwater app. So that's very quick and easy. I've been doing that uh, a lot with my other Shearwater computers. System setup, this is a bit more into the main settings of the dive computer. So whether you're diving on air or nitrox, the salinity of the water, your gas oxygen percentage, your maximum PPO2, and then you can cycle through all of these. The decompression setup sets a Buhlmann uh, ZHL16C. You can change the conservative uh, settings if you want and uh, sort of the safety stops and where your stops are gonna be. The bottom row, so this is that auxiliary information whilst you're on the dive, you can actually change some of the information and where it's located on that screen. So if you don't want to see your maximum depth, you can change it for something else, which is quite nice. Alerts, so you can set certain alerts for your dive computer to go off at certain depths, certain dive times. So if you want an alert after half an hour of being under the water, then you can set that up. And if your uh, decompression limit is getting a little bit too low, uh, then it will alert you and the vibration, you can turn that off if you want. One thing you'll notice is that the uh, the Peregrine is a very quiet dive computer. A lot of dive computers, they'd be beeping with every single button press. There isn't an audible alarm, it's just that vibration alarm, uh, which is quite nice because it's not going to annoy everyone else. It only buzzes for you and you notice that. Uh, display setup, this is where you're uh, changing the, the brightness and whether it's metric or imperial. You can also flip the screen, so if you want it the other way up, do you want the buttons at the top of the computer instead of at the bottom, you can do that and then general system setup, and then advanced configuration. And then it takes you back to the beginning. So overall, um, uh, sort of the, the dimensions of the computer, as I said at the beginning, decent size. Um, it's got a large screen, but it's not a, a big, bulky, hulking computer. I've actually got my, um, my Perdix here right next to it, so it's a little bit smaller than a Perdix. Um, it doesn't have that big battery compartment at the back like the Perdix does. One thing that is different is in the buttons. So this has buttons that are more akin to the Terek, uh, these are on the um, on the Perdix, so these are those piezoelectric um, magic buttons that don't move at all. Uh, these ones, they do have some movement in them, but they're they're very strong. These are made out of metal, so um, they're very very tough. But uh, there is some movement in them. You have these four loops here, and this is how you're gonna be attaching that watch strap or attaching the, uh, the bungee loop. These are about five millimeters across, uh, so you can get sort of five mil bungee through there if you want something a little bit um, chunkier. And you get four of those, one on each corner, so you can make it really nice and secure. As you can see, there's no uh, sort of screw or bolt holes to, uh, to open it up. Everything is uh, is made out of plastic. Uh, there's no uh, sort of metal apart from those buttons, which makes it nice and light. Uh, so all in all, yeah, a really nice, neat little uh, dive computer. Okay, so let's boil this all down and actually review the Peregrine. So I'm gonna review it on five different categories. Well, four categories and then one overall. So the first one is going to be the usability, the understandability, how easy it is to get your head around the, uh, the Peregrine. The next one is the size, the overall size and dimensions of the computer itself. The functionality of the computer, uh, sort of how it works and what comes with it. The overall cost, because obviously it's an investment, and then a an overall rating. So for, uh, for understandability, I'm gonna give this five out of five. Very easy to understand and navigate straight out of the box. Uh, the screen itself, very easy and crisp to read all of that information. And because it's color coded, it makes it much more natural to, to understand what the information is trying to tell you and whether it's good or bad. Because as things start to change color, it just draws your attention so that you know that you need to do something. Uh, it also has that hepatic feedback, that vibration function on the inside. So that that's great to really draw your attention to the dive computer because if you just hear like beeping underwater, is that my dive computer or is it someone over there? It's really hard to tell exactly where that noise is coming from. Whereas if something's vibrating on your wrist, it's very easy to understand exactly where that's coming from. Uh, so yeah, five out of five as far as understandability, especially when 
it physically tells you what that button does at each given uh, sort of point in time. So very easy to, uh, to understand. Overall size, uh, again, I'm gonna give it five out of five because this is gonna sit in the large screen dive computer function, uh, sorry, category. So the, the screen itself isn't the largest, but it doesn't feel uh, it doesn't feel that it's got too much information packed into too small of a place. It's a very neat and logical layout. You can control that layout. The overall dimensions of the dive computer are about as small as you can get with a large screen dive computer. So yeah, it's getting five out of five for that. Um, the functionality, I'm only gonna give it a four, and um, and that's a mixture of you get so much with it that I would give it a five, but I do have to uh, sort of address the fact that it does have a lot of the extra features taken out of it. Now, this is where I'm kind of torn because for most divers, especially recreational divers, who are never gonna use that technical stuff, it'll be five out of five again, but I do have to address that it does have some of those functions taken out of it to use uh, sort of higher concentrations of uh, of nitrox and trimix. Uh, so it's it is a four, but for recreational divers, it's a five to be really honest, because uh, it it does have everything that you need, but it does have some features taken out of it. So I can't honestly give it five out of five. As far as cost, so this sits in a really, really great uh, sort of price point. And for what you're getting, it's incredible. So you're getting a rechargeable battery, you're getting a color screen, a large color screen, and all of those accessories all in a, a really sort of sensible price point. So it kind of sits at the the lower kind of middle range. It's not in the budget dive computer range, it's above that, but it's definitely in the, the middle range of, uh, of dive computers. But for, for what you get in that sort of color screen and in that rechargeable battery and all the, uh, the accessories, it sits in an amazing price point. So again, that's getting a five out of five. So overall, I'm gonna give this nine and a half out of 10. So this really does a great dive computer. Um, when Shearwater were making this, they knew exactly what they were doing. They, um, they looked at the rest of their range and the rest of the Shearwater range is more aimed at the technical diver who wants all those additional features, but they understood that there is a demographic of divers who are never gonna be interested in that sort of technical range. So they stripped all of those features out and then they built the uh, the Peregrine as a very smart um, dive computer for recreational divers. It's got everything that you need. It's a very premium quality dive computer, but at a very sensible range, uh, price range. So yeah, this is scoring very high marks from me. The only other feature that I probably should have mentioned talking about the uh, the functionality of it is that with a lot of large screen dive computers and actually quite a few small screen dive computers is that they actually have a built-in digital compass, but I haven't found a digital compass built into this one yet. So that is another uh, sort of reason why it'll uh, sort of go down as uh, the four out of five as far as functionality. So it would have been nice to see a compass and maybe some wireless air integration if you did want to uh, sort of progress onto it um, but otherwise yeah it, it does have sort of everything that most divers would need okay so that's the sheer water peregrine dive computer a very sensible sized color screen rechargeable dive computer that really has all of the functions that most scuba divers are gonna need but with all of the extra technical stuff just stripped out of it um, which sits it at a really sensible price point uh, I definitely like it it's got everything that I want in a dive computer and a lot of extras that come with it. This is really made for that recreational diver, but this is gonna be more than enough dive computer for most recreational divers. Uh, there's gonna be far more information on our website, simplyscuba.com, so check it out. There's gonna be a link down in the description um, where you can buy it as well. This is the Shearwater Peregrine Dive Computer. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.